Can we just tell the audience that we always play on 4-4 click? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what I also think is remarkable about the part is... Remarkable? <laughs> what I also think is remarkable is the ritardando at the end. Like, we don't just try to make this, oh, it gets slower and slower just with the subdivisions and mathematically, but also emotionally by actually shifting the tempo, because we never play with click or anything. And I think that's the biggest advantage of this band in general that we really play well together and we can really play with time in a very fluid way like I can't with any other person, I think. Can we just tell the audience that we always play on 4-4 four, four click? <laughs> 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 like Tigra and Hamasian. Yeah, we freak. always play with a click track. It's we important. always play with click, tra click track, everything is programmed. Right, we don't play live. And on the album, the drum is programmed. <laughs> exactly. Um, Slate drums. That's something I really enjoy about this band, is being able to really play the time together in a very fluid way. Yeah, I think it's important to mention that I think this song is written was written three years ago by us. Yeah. So it's a really old song and uh, it went to several iterations till it got there. So like every year we have like uh, we had one practice week where we only met and played the songs to make them cooler and and like as time went by and we practiced for ourselves we had new ideas for the same song and i i, I remember we we uh, we stopped at the septuplets uh on the, in the first version and then we went directly into the ending and also right. like this harmonical uh part where the ritatando kicks in yeah that wasn't there at all. Yeah. And just before we recorded the album for the first time, which isn't, which got never released, <laughs> we recorded everything one uh, one time before we did these uh, visually uh, cool Crazy. videos. And we didn't release it because we were really not happy with the recording. And, but maybe you guys will see it at some point. Buy our t-shirts! Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and so it was, I think, after two years of playing the song, uh, at some point we decided something else has to be there. Yeah. And so we just put that part with the Rita Tondo in, which I really like because it's really cool how, how as we grow, as a musician as musicians for yeah. for each like we also update all of our songs too with it right and so it, they don't stay the same right and it helped to not play these songs that we wrote three years ago for quite a while and then come back to them while we both evolved musically and yeah. then saw them with a different yeah. perspective yeah so actually the band uh, is i think now four years old Four or five, yeah. Four or five years, but we, we haven't released anything in that time because we were busy doing uh, other things and practicing. And, <laughs> uh, and, 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 he, and, and Nicolas also has like a uh, ton of projects and I also have no project at all. <laughs> and so as, as we individually grew, like the songs also evolved and I think that's really cool. And yeah. so at this point, I think this is like the final stage of the song and I'm totally happy with it. And so we recorded it and that's the end of the story.